that you should be searching through to find secondary literature on the authors for this course. The first is called The Philosopher's Index. Let's try this one. Philosopher's Index. Don't type in B. Philosopher's Index. Okay, so there's the Philosopher's Index. And if I search, for example, uh, Kant, Kant, and, well, if I just search here, I'm going to get 30,000 entries. So I'm going to search for Kant and, how about democracy? Okay, so there's Kant and democracy. I'm going to search. Or if I want to, I can go down here and make sure it's journal articles. Or over here since 1990. And then I'm going to search. And here I have 68 results, 68 journal articles since 1990 on content and democracy. Um, so here they are. Okay, the other database, going back here, is called JSTOR. J S T O R. And this is uh, this will give you direct links to those articles. So here it's Go into JSTOR. Uh, I'll search for Hobbes, and there's a character in uh, Leviathan that Hobbes discusses. He calls the fool. So I'm going to search for Hobbes and fool. I'm only going to do articles. I'm only going to include content I can access, that is the articles that I can link to directly through the university website. I'm going to search. Writing one or two pages, 
The problem is not that you don't have enough words. The problem is you've misunderstood what you should be doing. If you find yourself writing 10, 12, 15 pages, you've misunderstood the subject. You're trying to do too much. So roughly 1,500 words, but don't worry too much about the exact word count. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the kind of thing that I'm looking for in the papers as we uh, get closer to the first one. But I don't want anything extraneous. No padding. Um, you need to get to the point, explain what it is that you want to argue, the point that you want to make, um, and make it in a clear and straightforward way. Very often uh, in philosophy classes, student papers uh, try to sound too philosophical. Uh, that's a bad strategy. The material already is philosophical. The material already is abstract. The material already is difficult. And so your job is to clarify it. Your job is to explain it in a simple and straightforward way so that these abstract and difficult ideas become clearer. One last point about this, or two last points about this. Um, you need to do something more than just summarize the primary text. You need to do something more than just repeat what Kant says. So the secondary literature is going to help you. So what more you can say, it's up to you. There's a lot of options here. For example, uh, you can explain why one of the authors is mistaken about something. You can criticize the author and say that his argument is not convincing to you for these various reasons. Or that the author has overlooked some important point that you think is relevant. Uh, you can try to, I said no simply summarizing, but if there's an extremely difficult passage or a difficult argument, you can try to clarify that. So you can explain different possible interpretations of some difficult text and why one of these you think is the best interpretation, for example. Um, you can write about uh, what somebody in the secondary literature says about the text. You can try to clarify the point they're making, why that secondary author is right or wrong in their interpretation or their criticism. You can write about the relationship between our primary author and other historical figures or other contemporary figures comparisons will be fine, as long as the focus remains on our primary author. Okay, uh, last point about um, papers. Unfortunately, I need to say something about plagiarism. Um, one way that professors discourage plagiarism, and this is a strategy that I use in a lot of my classes, is to give paper assignments on topics that are unusual, on more obscure assignments, so that students are unlikely to find uh, copies of papers on that topic floating around in dorm rooms or the internet or whatever. Obviously, I'm not doing that here. On, on the contrary, I'm, I'm leaving it completely open-ended. So it would be the easiest thing in the world for you to find a paper on Kant's groundwork to the metaphysics of morals. Um, so because of that, in part because of that, I'm going to be harsh in coming down on cases of plagiarism that I catch. Um, can't promise you that I will catch you if you uh, plagiarize a paper, um, but there's a chance that I will. And if I do, um, the penalty is going to be harsh, up to including failing you for the course and referring you to the Office of Judicial Responsibility. 
Um, so the point is, it's easy to avoid. When you use a source, all you have to do is tell me that you use a source. You need to cite.